Well, you know, I already bought stuff by using the gem. So yeah, now we do this. So I have now two official deck, which is you guys know what that I am using. So now we're gonna go solo. We have got played a lot of stuff. Why oh, we didn't play this yet? Oh yeah, we didn't open the pack. I forgot. So now we're gonna play this. One legacy, yeah. One legacy is a deck that I need. Wow! We got our lock. Amazing! This is amazing. This is gonna take a while. So let's. We have two scenarios to read. We're gonna get a card. <laughs> Chosen by the World Legacy. The rulers of these stars were not human. That war was ruled by seven mechanical life forms known as the Magnites. Yes, Magnites, my favorite Magnites. And across the land spread the vanguard, the crawlers. These crawlers tend to swarm and destroy all human made structures in the heart. They most likely lack any emotion. Helpless before these ruthless machines, mankind had no choice but live to live in hiding. <laughs> Dense with thick trees, glooming even in the daytime, a hidden land known as Forest of the Stars. There is lays a hidden village where humans live inconspicuously. The village was protected by a barrier that would prevent intruders from invading or even discovering it. The ritual war passed down through many generations, made the barrier extremely resistant and it had never broken, not once. But even so, the villagers were suffocated by their anxieties day after day, not knowing when the great man would come knocking at their doorstep. From within the suffocating unease of the village, there were still those determined to fend off the crawlers. Alright, Ningiri soon. There was a reason they fought so desperately. It was villagers, princess, and the younger sister of Nir Ningiri soon. Sorry, from birth, the priestesses, Christians, possess a divine power that synergized with their ritual one to create barriers. His power was the strongest the village had ever seen in history, but it was mere compared to the frightening forces that grew stronger by the day. Her companions saw how hard she was trying to put on a brave face for the villagers and wishes they could lighten her burden even by little. By little. Order and Ningrisu, along with the baby dragon, Indo crosses the barrier in hopes of slaying even just one crawler. One day, one day, it heard from inside the forest a faint sound like that of a human voice. Aura and Ningrisu could not hear it, however, it proclaimed that she kept hearing the voice. Oh, that's the dragon. Afraid it will venture into the forest alone, Aaron, Ningrisu, and the baby dragon Indo set for inside the hinterland. Wow, that was a long story. So we got a card, wall challenge card dragon. Don't worry, more card, more better. We got a new card more. This is the first time I got two story more with very lot. So this is a part two again. The sun had already set, leaving only starlight to guide them. The scent of the scent of trees and soil hung in the cold air. Through her body was unsure, he ventured into the forest as if she was being guided. Careful not to lose sight of her, the tree look out for crawlers as they follow her. Suddenly we had a broad shriek, it vanishes before their eyes. <laughs> Rushing to the place where they lost sight of her, they saw he had fallen off a low cliff. Cliff. He appeared he had been so spared in the direction of the forest that she had knowledge there was no ground before her. The tree decided to climb and were relieved to find it uninjured. Before their eyes, a mysterious structure appeared. It had been there before. If it had been there before, they were not as if as if the structure had been there for hundreds of years. It was as as in trees and in twine in ivy. They nervously approached the building. 
The one even had in her hands glow and the beauty started to rumble as if in response. A mighty light radiated, radiated from the building, blowing aside the trees and clocked everything in blinding light. Blinding light. <laughs> Even with their eyelids closed, the light pierced merciless, mercilessly through. When they finally opened their eyes, a fairy fluttered in the air before them. The fairy spoke to the startled party. I have been on the whole challenge staring. The spirit had been seen inside the building that released the bright light, known as the world legacy, world charges. In previous times, it was her duty to guide mankind, but was also flattered by the magnet. For many years, she had been waiting for a world hero capable of activating the world challenge. And there are those world heroes. Please, let me illustrate and gather the scattered starlight and save the world from the great darkness. She spoke. Drew be warned by Lee's story, Aura and the group were moved by her earnestness and decided to lend a hand. So they did become something. Nearly that is not the fairy least one and bestowed upon them the powers of the awakened world charges. <laughs> Practice time, leave the world charges. As usual, we're gonna use easy game. Of course, it's, it's a freaking tutorial. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Wow! Wow! They're gonna give us a deck like this. So first we gotta use Lord deck.
Sole. Because <coughs> I'm not using my original deck, that's why. Are you gonna give me all of the cards? But it's so good. They want us to construct that deck. <laughs> so now we're using our own deck. Don't give me more first. See, I already know his tactic. He has a lot of set cut.
the best song. Watch. Easy game. We gotta play this first before we open it. Wow, we have to use two to unlock. One low Fine. So we got protector by playing it. And a stupid thing. Alright guys, see you guys in the next episode. Take care.